And this fucking crazy psycho has the cojones to shoot from 30 feet. Step change the game Dude, right I love here. It. All right, guys, welcome to episode four of Dunk Bait. We're gonna talk about a lot of basketball and a little bit of other things. I am LeJethro King Jenkins. King Joe Sign 54, and I've been lifting, as you can tell. I'm Zach Schwartz, Zach, Zach, Zach on the internet. How was your guys' Christmas? It was all right, man, I was at the crib. What was you on? I got this in my stocking. Woo! That is love. My <laughs> dad saw our episode oh, of my sh Christmas list and put this in my stocking. Beautiful gift. A Smush Parker card? That's collector's item. On this episode, we're gonna cover Kuzma's trainer, Kobe Speaks Slovenian, how to avoid being clown on the internet, Steph being better than LeBron, according to the New York Times, no. and the best <laughs> moment of the decade. <laughs> Let's talk about Kuzma a little bit, guys. <laughs> Kuzma and your boy Clint. He jumped on IG and started popping off. Kobe fans have been hating on LeBron. Okay. LeChoke, LeBum, 3-6 Mafia, <laughs> Bron Sexuals. <laughs> Ooh, Bron Sexual! <laughs> oh, <laughs> got me! The point is, now Clint, who's a big Kawhi guy, spoke his mind. He's been speaking about Kawhi like this for a long time. He's a Kawhi guy. The thing with me is this, bro. Like, you you training Kuz. Kuz hasn't had the best season, Yeah. all right? You know, he's on he's on thin ice, all right? And then you go and, and run your mouth. You you Like you said, he trained Kawhi before. You're going to go ahead and do this to Kuz. You better go to his house and help him pack his goddamn bags. Out to New Orleans, like you put it up on <laughs> Twitter, John. <laughs> Got all the good people in New Orleans in his mentions. Hey, I love New kid. Orleans. Okay. We don't know what the spade is spade, because I was led to believe he was talking about Amazon, because he had tweeted some stuff from Bernie Sanders earlier Come in the on, day. Man. You see that coincidence? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if you're associated with a player, you gotta kind of keep it to yourself. Lakers, Mavs, uh, Kobe surprised Doncic and basically everybody on the planet by speaking to him in Slovenian. Find me a more cultured superstar than Kobe Bryant. He's cultured, but that is also a result <laughs> of it being absolutely crazy. Uh, no, he was he was talking Slovenian, so I was like, he was talking my language, and I saw Kobe, and I was like really surprised. He was like. Who knows Slovenia? Yeah. Like it yeah. was, and there was gonna be no other person on that bench other than Kobe Bryant. How cool must it have been for him to turn around and see the third greatest Laker of all time <laughs> speaking his native language? Third, I don't know, bro. Who's, who's a bubble? A Magic and LeBron. I mean, or Kareem too, sorry. I don't know where about, LeBron's at yet. LeBron, you're, you're, you know, your, your history's not cemented. What do you think about Doncic signing with Jordan? Beautiful. He deserves better. Just go with Nike, baby. I just feel like he can make a nice shoe for them. When last time you seen Jordan design a nice shoe? Not in a long time. His game, though, plays in a way that, like, I. I could get behind like, oh, I can wear these and go work out at the gym in them. When the last time you worked out? <laughs> oh, that we can cut that. No. <laughs> I knew you just ended your, your gym membership, my bad. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt so much if it weren't so true. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, that was hilarious. Dude, I, I can take a joke, I can take a joke, we're good. <laughs> After clowning Zach. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Walk it back now. Okay. John, how to avoid being clowned online? Who could be starring in this sketch? This is Zach. He was just clown on the internet. And as you can see, he's not taking it too well. If you're online long enough, the internet will eventually turn on you too. Here are a few ways to deal with these situations. Number one, don't take it personal. You don't know these people. They might not even have legs. Number two, never fight back. The internet always wins because fun is more important than facts. Number three, these people don't actually exist outside of your phone. Turn it off, treat yourself, smoke some rapper weed. I hope this helps, and happy internetting. New York Times kind of Jump kind of silly and, and said that Steph was actually the best player of the decade over LeBron. Like My man gotta... looks sick. You're disgusted. Ooh, you, Steph changed basketball. We've never seen a Steph prior to this decade. But every time, every playoffs, every finals, 
Braun outplayed Steph. Even in the series, the first two series he lost, averaged a triple-double, you know what I'm saying? And he averaged 40. They gave the, the MVP to Eagle Dollar for- For locking LeBron up. Right. LeBron went to how many finals in a row? God. LeBron was in Eight? those finals uh, no, to start let's stop the decade, right now. end the decade. I'm gonna have a conversation, I know the person who wrote it. I know you just did it because you were trying to shade LeBron fans and all our dedication to the world. <laughs> Steph has zero finals MVP. <laughs> he revolutionized the game, right? But he also revolutionized the way that unanimous MVPs get bucketed in game seven of NBA finals. <laughs> and we're going to get the best player of the decade to do to never even won a finals MVP in the decade. KD got two more than him. Kawhi got two more than him. <laughs> LeBron out here with three more. It's blatantly wrong. You guys I, I are exposing yeah. yourself. You expose yourself as a screening when you say things like this, even just to make people like me mad. So mine, personally, everybody talks about Kyrie's shot and that's awesome but I'm talking about LeBron's six points that made that shot relevant, okay? <laughs> Which nobody talks about. This man hit a three-pointer, he stepped to the line and hit not one, not two, but three free throws in a row. That. that was the highlight of my decade to see LeBron James make three straight free throws and a three-pointer. His jumper was not tight at that point either. People <laughs> forget that that's the same way, that, the same thing that led up to that Ray Allen shot. Yeah. In 2013, 2016 finals is by far the fa my favorite moment, but this is the wildest moment for me. This is when I knew the basketball, the, the, the basketball to me had changed. Five seconds left, and is jogging up court. And I'm like, he's going to the 30-footer. I'm losing my shit. And this fucking crazy psycho has the cojones to shoot from 30 feet. Steph changed the game right I love here. that it was the Thunder, both of those. Right, The crazy. Dame did it to him, too. This was, this was absolutely insane. The, the section I chose was when Blake Griffin claims to be locking DeAndre Jordan in his house so he couldn't switch teams. It was the full <laughs> embodiment of what NBA Twitter was going to become kind of before it became that. Funniest part about it is, one, Blake's a hilarious dude, but also none of these dudes are on the Clippers anymore. Yeah. All these players are gone and we all freaked out like it really mattered and it just a year, year and a half later didn't. It's perfectly made for this period, time period. He's hilarious, he's a great basketball player, but he understands the internet, dog. Why yeah. is he in Detroit? He needs to be somewhere where he can really right. let these skills fly freely. I have no idea what the next de decade will bring. Ronnie and LaMelo, <laughs> oh, no, years I, and years and years of battle. Four point shot coming soon. Bro, I, that is, I honestly believe that should be the idea. While we talking, yeah. but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll see. Join Where us on the next episode of Double yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is the show, peace. Happy New Year to y'all too. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Hey, hey.